So that's the first mark where we got the first little one. Yeah, that was that one there. And, and then, then the second one was the bigger I, one. I said that's roughly where we usually get them. And then there's bloody all those marks on his back. Yeah. He's going to have other, other big spots. So we got him right next to the blue mark, so we're, we're going to go on the line next to it. Because we didn't go over the headquarters because we would have got more than one. So we didn't hit the headquarters, but I reckon there's more there because he was a breeder. And he had that breeding damage on him. New T curve. I bought this for flatty fishing. Also turns out to be my new favourite squid rod. It's all about the handle for me. It's a really awesome handle arrangement. Rod is super light. Like it's not even a squid rod, but it's probably the best squid rod I've had. <laughs> we're not quite, we're going a bit wider of that line this time. I'll just turn that motor up, maybe we'll flip flop. Guys, I've hooked Kraken. I didn't have a camera rolling though. Welcome to you fish. Whoa, you see him out the back there. Just make sure we camera's aim at the right spot. Joe Dom! What are you doing to me? Dom's trying to make me lose my squid. It's a mega tank. So the, the old spot right on that mark where I put the jeep, with the, have a look where I put that marker. It's right on it. Oh man, look how far out it is. I only hooked it like here, but it just took off and I didn't have the camera. It would have been one of the best squid runs to record. And I got, dra I got heavy drag on too. Yeah. You know it's heavy drag, you hear it r r trickling off when I pull on it. I oh, I got it by a tentacle. Oh, come on, big dog. Good one? <laughs> yeah, this circle cap is not convincing at all. No. There he goes. See you later. I don't like the men, eh? Big dog. He's over 40, that one. Well done. Let's have a look at him. Shimano. Look at the bite marks. He was eating it. That was new. New clinch. It's got a red foil. 3.5 pink with a red foil. Sexy. Oh, wow. Just rotate him towards the sun a bit. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I'll get a photo for you. Yeah, cool. G'day, I'm Brendan Wing. This is You Fish TV. Out fishing with Dom today. We just came out of winter lockdown. It's still bloody cold here in Melbourne. Snapper fishing is just starting to get going, and we, we've we've made a we've made a pack. We're going to catch a big red, and what do I mean by a big red? Well, a fish called a snapper. That's a favourite here in Melbourne. They pull hard. They taste bloody awesome. They look like a big red brim, if that makes sense. Now, we've had a history catching a lot of these big suckers, right? These these big snappers. A big one for us is anything over 20 pound. That basically represents a fish of a lifetime. Okay, it might be. Even if you're really good at it, you might only see fish like that every 10 years. And I'm, we're just going to go back to basics. And, the, and what we used to use here many years ago, instead of all the squid rings that we've been using the last couple of years, we used to use a lot of squid strips like this. So you catch a fresh squid, and we cut the hood into strips, perfect strips like this. So as the night progresses, we're going to show you how we present them and cast them out. And the goal is that these actually present beautifully still in the current, like a swim bait, and they just wiggle very gently at the back like that. So we pin them at the top, pin them in the middle, sting a hook, and we set them on these traps. And being daylight, I think that it matters what they look like. It's got to present well, because the snapper's smart. They don't get big because they're dumb. And you want to want to be look as natural as possible, like a white slug or a white um, eel or something long that looks natural, as opposed to a ring that sort of wobbles a bit. Nothing wrong with squid rings, but to, to be honest with you, I can't remember ever catching too many 20 pound snapper on squid rings in daylight. All the big fish we've caught on squid rings are always seem to be at night, where the visual presentation isn't as important. So hopefully, if you're watching this, we're about to have some action on squid strips. Good evening. 
you back on the fish? Oh, it's a good fish. It's very exciting. You got some meat chicken? No, Mark. <laughs> it's a really good fish, man. Look at the weight. I oh, know. I'm serious. It's a big fish. Everything old school, man. Today. I got the old school takers as well. I've got. Are well, you swimming up nicely now for me? Which is, yeah, my, yeah, he's over five, put that way. Oh yeah. So just like that, GoPro fail. No audio on this clip. What a bloody waste. You got a beautiful fish like this. Sunset, going to the effort, going to the showing you an idea and a concept. Proof of concept comes along. And no audio. One of those just baffling mysteries about GoPros. No idea why they do it. Anyway, I have to just talk us through this bit. So what happens here is, of course, I'm talking to a five of a snapper, describing what I'm thinking. It's like a five kilo snapper. I'll speed it up. Because we can't watch it without sound. Zoom, zoom, zoom. And there it is. We get it to the side of the road. Lift it in. Put it on the side of the road. It's not a monster. But really, I just want to show you that we had munched that squid strip. There it is. I'm taking off the hooks. There it is bit in half and double hook up with the Reedy's rigs or the Reedy's 5-0 suicides. There's the squid strips I've been using. Let's have a look at them. And then I'm going to show you how to put one on to my two hook snood, which is a fixed top hook and I spread them about four inches apart. Speed up a little bit here. And here I'll put one on the squid strip. So the bottom hook goes about halfway down the strip. Like that. The top hook goes in the top of the boat like that, and then it hangs deliciously in the current, which I'll now show you, I'm pretty sure. Let's have a look, speed it up. And there it is. So it sits about a foot at the bottom, right in the visual range of a snapper, as they mooch along the floor. They can't miss it. It presents beautifully, and they just hit it like a boat. Wham! They just hit it like a bloody eel or something, side on, high speed, real screams off. Unfortunately, the GoPro was broken after that, so I can't really show you much more from that night as the sun sets. What a shame, because we caught more fish too. The camera lost its audio for the rest of the night, so we've only got a little bit of footage from the other camera of that fish. And what a shame, because everything we filmed was on the other camera. Right on sunset too. This is the peak time to be fishing, and we have a camera fail again. So after, I'll just quickly show you that fish now. We'll have a quick chat about it. Then we're going to move on to another trip I did just recently with Dave Meehan at a place called Coronet Bay in Westerport. And a few very interesting things happened. It was quite fun. Some lovely fish and something really um, mysterious and strange happened. There could be a big clue in them and a big puzzle. So check that out after we have a look at this fish. Cheers. So he be nudging up towards five. Yeah, I reckon he's five. Yeah. Five fours, low fives. Yeah, right out. Yeah. Good start, and the sun's gone. All right, we're gonna eco dream yeah. him. Take home a fresh bit of snapper. Beautiful. Well done. Just go easy mate, just take your time. Nice and cruisy. Nice slow lifts. He's still going, so let him go. Just keep it tight. It's a good one too. You're on your own old boy. Just let him go, it's a good fish. Holy moly. So don't want wind him until he wants to come. Huh? You just dropped him? Sure? Oh god. It's a huge fish. Want it, want it. <laughs> <laughs> What did I say? Just another half an hour. <laughs> yeah, good call. You just might get one rod scream off. He's a bit, bit, bit soft. Yeah. Keep, keep it tight, keep it tight. Still there, isn't he? Oh, this is exciting, Dave. Swim back at you? Yeah. That was some good runs. It's like gully, maybe. It was actually more like a mulloway. Careful. You have to go under that rod again. Quick, it's going to swim at you. Swimming at you. Careful. Lift that up. It up. Oh. 
Where's your leader? What? What's going on? Stop. You can't wind anymore. It's a big red, but something's wrong with your walk back. I have to fix this tip for you. Oh, walk back. I, I need to get to that, so you need to walk back. Something's wrong. You've got a big knot and it's caught on your runner. Oh, yeah. So keep winding it up. That's a huge red. Look at this. Oh, shit. Just no, walk back. I can't reach it. Walk back. Oh man, it's going up. Uh, uh, oh. Hold that. And watch me. Is that not too chunky? Alright, wind it in you right now. Go to the net. And just let's have a look at him. Oh. Lift him up. What a cracking fish, Dave. That's a cracker, mate. In the net, just bring it swimming towards the net. Swimming into the net, when I, I'm going to scoop towards him. You scoop him into the net, you ready? Yep. Go. That's it. Oh, your net broke. What the hell, man? <laughs> your net broke. <laughs> oh. What happened there? What happened there? Is it just broken? Oh, oh well. High five. <laughs> Come on, mate. Yeah, what a good fight it was. By the way, while you were fighting that fish, that had a massive hit on it. Yeah. It buckled right over and dropped it. That right there. I'm gonna yeah. get it. I'm gonna get some fret no more baits going. First snapper for the year. Mate, they might be about to come on, mate. Oh shit. What the size of it? Good fish, mate. There we go, a bit of perseverance. What a night. What a shit night. So they had a hit while you were fighting it. Yeah. I got a serious hit. I reckon it's pulled the bait off. I'm going to get a photo for you. Is that okay? Yeah, mate. Okay. This is a Mulloway area, right? This is a giant live bait. Have a look. This thing's... This thing got picked up by something. Buckle the rod. Buckle the rod. Buckle the rod over. Stop it, you pain in the ass. All right. Stop! Have a look at this. He's been absolutely mouthed and crushed by something. Scaled him. Not teeth. You see it on there? Look. He's bleeding and his all gills are hanging out. Something's actually grabbed him and smashed him and shook him. And hurt him, like a big jewel or something. Wouldn't surprise me if it's a big mulloway's grabbed him. Hasn't crushed him and killed him like a stingray would or a shark would. It shook him, scaled him, and let him go. This is exciting. When you'll find that fish, I'll watch this rod buckle over, and then it'll release. And look at the state of this poor thing. All the boat coming off, he's got his gill hanging out. Just scaled it. That's like Mulloway mouth. Unbelievable.